Ladies and gentlemen, Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Have you been waiting for it? A lot of Gears of War fans certainly have. Now obviously with Gears of War um, Ultimate Edition you do just get Gears of War 1 remastered, but a bunch of the other Gears of Wars are going to be coming back with backwards compatibility if you do own Gears of War Ultimate Edition, so do bear that in mind. Now, Stuart, also known as a Wild Stew, has actually been streaming this throughout the day, but he's going to be getting the footage over the next couple of days or so. So I thought I'd throw this out. Um, I'm going to be doing this as the opinion of someone who's not massively into Gears of War, but I do certainly like it. Particularly the story mode, which may sound alien to some people, but I actually really like Gears of War storyline, I must say, and I find it kind of fun, to be totally blunt. But we're going to be playing this. Um, the game's obviously installed. We go through the options first. There will be a full graphics comparison versus the Xbox 360. And assuming I can get the bloody game to run. I've had some problems. Uh, Gears of War on the PC. But as it turns out, we're going to shut up about that type of thing at the moment. Of course, of course we will do Ultimate Edition graphics comparison as well. Just to see uh, what's changed on the PC Ultimate. But for now, let's have a look. So, pretty much I've left everything as default. There's not exactly a great deal of graphical options. There are definitely some major graphical changes, however. It's still using pretty much the same code base. But there are definitely improvements on lighting, textures. Uh, I'm just going through all of these. I don't really think I need to explain what Zoom does. Um, there are definitely improvements on lighting, textures, um, you know, even a, but some geometry looks like it's improved, although I, I say that from the perspective of someone who is actually just watching Stuart's live stream, um, and I've barely played this myself. But anyway, we're going to click on campaign and we can, of course, do split screen, which is quite nice. Uh, I don't have anyone to play with, foreveralone.jpg. Um, so we're going to go with single player, and we're going to go with new campaign. And we're going to go with normal. Um, Stuart slash the good players would be going, of course, with insane. I'm not. I'm going to be going with normal. Obviously, this version does have some additional um, content, single player content, over the original Xbox 360 version. And as a note, if you're a PC gamer, you probably actually played that already, unless you didn't get too far into the game. Um, but basically, now they've included it on the uh, Xbox One version. So that's kind of cool. It, not like it's an entire new game or anything like that. But it's it's a bit of extra content. You, most of you probably know that anyway. But I thought I'd throw it in as an FYI. And I have to say, I think Microsoft did a really good thing uh, buying this from Epic. I think, you know, keeping this on the Xbox was definitely a smart move from them for exclusivity point of view. Um, not that I like exclusives in many ways, but obviously for platform, uh, well, for consoles it makes sense. So, let's, let's have a go, shall we? Seems like a good idea. After E-Day. Yeah, you can definitely see a lot of extra detail there. Lot of extra detail. Why hi there? What are you doing here? Getting you out. Here, put this on. You'll need it. Yeah, Marcus, don't be such you an ungrateful prat. Trouble for doing this. Not anymore. Things have changed. Ooh, didn't know she meant to do that. Apologies. What about the other prisoners? You can't just leave them here. They're gone. Hoffman pardoned everybody. Is that right? Welcome back to the army, soldier. Shit. <laughs> he doesn't seem too grateful. Alright. Let's see what the sensitivity is like, shall we? That seems like a good idea to me. Pretty good. Okay. I think I can work with that. This has been a long, long time since I've played Gears of War, so I am going to be shit. I'm just warning you all. But we'll 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 make do. We can go back the way I came through the guards' quarters. It takes time, but it's safe. Or we can go through oh, the fuck being safe. right into the fight. Your choice. Uh, let's go back for combat. Combat, combat, combat. I'm ready to kick some ass. Yeah. And chew bubble gum. Burn all out of gum. You, I, I know that you'll want trivia, so I'm going to give You're you some route. trivia. I'll do it after this cutscene. Look at your squad mate's whole triangle. Oh god. There's explosions. Ow! Six four, this is Delta Two. Hold your fire. We are inside the prison. Over. Roger that holding fire. Advise you relocate ASAP. 
No shit, man, Sherlock. Man, knew I was here to get you. I'd be in some deep shit. Come on, let's go. All right, follow on, Mike Duff. All right. So anyway, a little bit of trivia for you all. I see something over here, here actually. What is that? Ah, cog, sweet. It's this way. A little bit of trivia. Basically, back this game, Gears of War, was the original. Hey, the reason the, the Xbox 360 had um, 512 megabytes of memory. As it turns out, Microsoft were actually going to load the damn thing up with 256, but Epic, after they showed them what 256 megabytes would get them for Gears of War, compared to 512, Microsoft kind of just crumbled and were like, yeah, we kind of don't want to do that, which you can't blame the little fellas for. Oh, God. That's actually nice destruction details. I mean, damn. Alright, not too bad. Alright, yeah, it looks quite nice in terms of uh, aesthetics. And the controls are quite nice for me as well. Alright, sensitivity is alright, good. Okay, Dom, you're already falling over, my friend. King Raven, Delta 2. We've got a locus on that bridge. Over. Roger that. Well, he's not doing well, is he? Thanks, man. There we go. Alright. We're remembering the buttons, that's good. Six four, we are moving to your location. Over. Oh wow, it is actually really weird to be playing Gears of War again. Okay, and I'm also really sucking on timing, which is gonna immensely annoy me considering I used to be able to get that all the time. That's better. Alright, we're getting the timing down a bit now. Dom, are you sure you want to just be running forward there, buddy? I've got to admit, I am pressing X to reload. Because I'm used to every single FPS ever. Each sin and die, that's, that's not very friendly. Alright. Sounds like a good plan. Let's just grab ammo. Oh god. They do not sound happy. No. Yeah, I guess that would be acetylene. Or you're way ahead of your partner. You know what? Frank for the memory, bitch. Get ready. Here they come. Are you serious, Tom? You're good to go. Yeah, just give him a little hug. That'll that'll get him up. Are you just gonna kind of stand there, Dom? There you. Apparently you are. That's all right then. Ah, good old hammer burst. All right, we are getting used to the controls again. We're. It's doing all right. I'm definitely damn bloody damn rusty. Then again, though, I barely play on consoles anymore, so there is that as well. So, oh god, we got an achievement! Sweet. You know what? Let's see if we can uh, liven them up a little bit. Well, that just was like the worst grenade ever, really, wasn't it? Yeah, that's more like it. Define suppress. Let's try and get up here. I know if Stuart's going to watch this video later, he's going to actually be crying inwardly in his soup. Yeah, there we go. I've got to say, though, it looks damn nice compared to... It looks damn nice compared to the Xbox 360 version. Delta, there's something moving below ground. Over. I, see it too. I mean, holy crap, the textures are just like a league better. Bear in mind, I haven't played this since like the Xbox 360 version was actually released. Uh, you know, shortly after that. So it's been an absolute ridiculous amount of time. Right, let's run epically towards the uh, chopper. We're going to get to the chopper. As far as I'm aware, they actually remade a lot of the sequences now to use in-game graphics, which is quite nice. 
the graphics are definitely a lot more colourful. There's definitely a lot more lighting. You know, a lot of the grey, which of course is one of the big criticisms, I guess, with the game. You know, the lack of colour, the whole grey chest eye wall thing, which everyone whined about. Uh, well, everyone who wasn't a fan, but I've got to say, I really like the look of it so far. A little bit of aliasing. You, traitor like you, doesn't deserve to wear the uniform. Looks to me like you need all the help you can get. Step aside. Lieutenant, I've got good news. We have a plan to end this war once and for all. Yeah, right. Sensors are picking up enemy movements, sir, close by. Oh, this is going well. Oh, God! Locust! Take cover! Move! Well, at least you didn't shoot the pretty one. Shit! We now have the light mass bomb! I'll take out all these bastards with one shot! But it can't work if we don't have the targeting data! That's why we need the resonator! It'll map their tunnels so that we can hit those sons of bitches where they live. Now I'm pissed. Up there. Just give me a lancer, damn it. Oh god. Nemesis are keeping our birds out of the area. You'll have to move in on foot. We're screwed. <laughs> All clear. But the lieutenant here will be feeding you intel. Yes, sir. And the smart thing to do right now would be to leave. I think the lieutenant needs a shower. I expect you to give me 110%, Phoenix. I'm not doing this for you. Hmm. Well, you can see that these guys are friends, and... So, by the fact you took them out, not so much kind of thing. Oh, I guess at least we got a chopper helping us. Oh, screw you too. Eh, actually, you know what? Let's just get this ammo. Ooh. We got a... Yeah, we got a Lancer. Who doesn't like a good old Lancer? You still got it? I guess we'll find out, huh? Give me that active ray, though. Damn. Look at the lighting. It looks really impressive, I've got to say. It's not like it's amazing. It's not like it's like the best-looking game of the generation or anything like that. But it looks damn impressive. It's, it's a very impressive remaster. Like, if you would compare it to the uh, original, it's definitely one of the bigger ones. I mean, we're actually doing a, a comparison at the moment of uh, Dishonored, which you'll probably be able to check out on the channel over the next few days. And if you were to compare it to this, damn. Like, this thing's actually got some serious amounts of work into it. If I remember correctly, there should be a cog around here somewhere. Or maybe not. Oh, there we go. As far as I'm aware, when you see that, it's an indicator that there's always a cog. I think. Wow. I mean, look at this. It looks impressive, I've got to say. And I, I, I actually think for the price, for what you actually get, it's pretty good. Obviously, most people will agree that this is like a multiplayer thing. Um, but there are some levels on this game that I absolutely think work amazingly. I won't spoil it in case you've not played the game. But my favourite, one of my favourite sections on any game of this genre 
is the nighttime section. Everyone knows what the part I mean. If you've played the game, obviously. If you've not played the game, you won't have a clue. But suffice to say... Oh god, there is an awful lot of these guys. And I shot his foot. I feel a bit bad now. Oh god. I might have bitten off a bit more. <laughs> I could chew that. Yeah, screw you. Yeah, protection only works when you're, you know, protected, bro. Or something. It sounded good in my head. It didn't work in theory when I in practice when I actually said it. But, you know, until then it sounded cool. Wall bouncing? I don't know how to do any of that. I'll have to actually ask Stuart or give me some turbs. Ow. Let's just re lead the charge. Yeah. Ow, balls. Did I pick that up? Yeah, I did. Okay. Just out of curiosity. Okay, we've got some frags. Excellent. We shall utilize those momentarily, I'm sure. Oh, this looks safe. Control, this is Delta. We have visuals on Alpha. Possible KIA. No sign of resonator. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the fact that they're laying in a ditch is probably not a good sign. I'm not sure, but it's probably not a good sign. I'll open the door. I've got the code. You go for that. I'm just gonna, you know, cower behind this wall. Seems like a good plan to me. Go for it. Yeah, catch that. Uh, dude, I don't know structurally or strategically that's a good place for you to stand. Just saying. Oh my goodness. We are getting some trouble here. Sweet. I'm pretty sure there's one more dude at the very least down the side. Yeah, don't come at me, my friend. I have a hat. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, fear me. Well, Dom, if you didn't get in the way of the bullets, you probably would, you know, not be getting shot about now, which is quite nice. You know what? Fire in the hole, my friends. Oh, that spatter of blood. Very satisfying. Okay, we're kind of running a bit low on ammo with this gun, which is kind of sucky. Considering it's my like precious and pride and joy. Eh, we don't see anything else. Alright. Nothing there, is there? No, okay, cool. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing an ammo. Obviously, went. Well, I guess we'll find out in a second. Damn. That looks really nice. Ashes. Fish in a barrel. It could be alpha. Cog tags are gone. Well, that's just scummy. Is that the resonator? Nah. Now what? Let's get that resonator. Marcus. What do you think? What do I think? Could be alpha. Or it could be the locust setting a trap. There's only one way to know for sure. Our next target is House of Sovereigns. Straight ahead. Mm. 
Oi, we might have needed that. Oh god. Oh my god. Alright, they've got turrets. I don't... I don't like the fact they've got turrets. Seems like a great idea to me. I shall do the flanking. I should do the flanky thing. And also get this ammo as well because, you know, I need it. Oh, hi! You might remember me from such movies as Saw. That is so, so satisfying. You know what? I wonder. Oh. Yeah. Alright, that's basically is about much use of the chocolate fire guard at this range. Oh, that's actually not that bad, considering. We don't have the powerful pistol yet anyway, so. It's gonna hurt if I hit you with this sucker. Maximum hammer burst. Let's just use hammer burst for a bit. Not to be confused, of course, with the hammer of dawn. Which is like the happy weapon. Oh god. I'm pretty sure we get bomb rushed here. Yeah, at least we got some grenades though. That's good. Yeah, give me some of that lance ammo. Alright, you want dust to dust? Fair. I can deal with that. Nice throw. Another grab hole. Got a frag in there. Catch. Oh yeah. Sweet. Nice. Well, we don't have another grenade, so you know. Yeah, one up. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah, the shower of blood tells me he didn't enjoy that. Oh god, I didn't actually realize how low on ammo I was there. You know, shit your ankle. You can't dance if you can't move, my friend. There we go. So you've, you're telling me that you've had frags and you've not decided to shoot them into the grub hole. Are you absolutely serious? I think we're good. Let's grab some ammo. Yeah, let's grab some ammo. That sounds like a fantastic option to me. Sweet. Yeah, that's why they call them out. grub holes. Goddamn defense by now. Yeah, man's tried everything, but nothing works. Looks like we need to split up. Ah, fork in the road. Yeah, which one shall we do, partners? Shall we go left or shall we go right? The right side, I you guess. Carmine will go right. Dom and I will go left. Yes, sir. I think the right side is the more action side. I think mean, you catch more flack if you go the right side. I'm not certain. I'm hoping that's the case, because I don't want to go the left. Oh god. Maybe I, maybe it's not this side, because I can hear a load of action, but I can't actually shoot anything yet. So, there's that. Oh god, and they do actually have turrets. So, there's that to notarize. Turns out... Yeah, this is the this is the sucky side. Who'd have thought? Uh, you're blocking my shots. Oh, okay. So you can see inside. 
Alright. I actually went the wrong way. Huh. It's the left side then. Okay, cool. Behind us. Cool. Oh, more. Are they all dead? Oh God! There's another nest around the corner. Well, the spot. You don't say. Right. Take him out first. Ah! Get off the wall. Give me that. There we go. That's more like it. Now I really, really, really wish I had some uh, grenades. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get back to cover. Yeah, that's more like it. Was well, actually trying to be cheek and shade saw him then. That's what you get for being a dick, I guess. Being far too cocky. We've got locusts coming through. Move, move, move. We tend to do that. Oh, okay, Someone we can't actually jump over that. Dom, do you want to take the Draka? Because I really hate the Drakers. I find them. Oh god, Dom's fallen over. This is what I get for telling him to go on the Quaker. Oh, yeah. Where the hell is Don? Oh, there he is. At least he's done. Alright, he's up. Am I the only one that's going to be resurrecting these dudes? I'm working on it, bro. You're good to go. Oh my god, I'm getting ravaged. Ah! There's another nest around the corner. With a spotter. Yeah, they tend right. to emerge. Take him out first. Oh god. Times like this, I really wish I had grenades. Yeah, box to this. Gonna knock down your door and say howdy doody. Howdy ho, neighborino. Anytime now, Dom. Marcus, rather. I did that deliberately so we can get on the Troika. At least that's the theory. I'm going to tell myself that. It... Go, go, go. Yeah. How'd you like them apples? Yeah. It's a bit nicer. Considering half my team aren't already dead and I can actually get to the Troika. Oh, thank you, Dom. It's very nice of you to appreciate my work. Good job. Is that everyone dead? Now let's go find that Turns out, yes. Move up. All right, play for a few more minutes, and I'll be pretty sure most of you will understand the differences. As I said, a person I think... Oh, God. I think I've upset someone. Oh, there's only one dude. That wasn't too bad. He, he was just a bit late to the party. He's like, yo, dudes. Uh -oh. This is Delta Squad. Any word from Alpha? Not knock, motherfucker. We still have radio silence. Over. Roger that. 
So, uh, my thoughts and opinions. Well, I would personally say this. I'm personally not massively into Gears of War multiplayer. I mean, I don't dislike it, but I'm not hugely into it. But here's my argument. First of all, they put a lot of work into this. You can tell. Like, this is not just one of those things where they were just like, oh, we're just going to increase the frame rate a little bit or maybe slap in your texture or convert it and then just go, there you go. But even for the games they have kind of going to be doing that with the backwards compatibility, and I know that's not exactly how it works before anyone jumps on me, but you get my idea. You know, it's like you get so much gameplay considering the cost. I think it's about 30 Great British Pounds. You're basically getting three games, which is, to be honest with you, pretty damn reasonable. So if you've already sold the Xbox 360 versions or you just kind of want to try out the, the games. Right. Oh god, we have made friends. A lot of friends. You know what? Let's go through here. Yeah. That's always be some ammo. Get in there and flank that nest. We'll cover. Hmm. Do we have any oh well, there's only one. Okay, I think actually think there's more than one. So let's probably utilize the grenade, shall we? Oh shit! That was amazing. I think he's still bleeding. I think, like... Oh my god, I am getting ravaged. Extreme prejudice. Oh my god, Carmine's fallen over. Ah, balls and dom. Oh, balls, balls, balls. Alright, let's resurrect these guys real quick. You're good to go. Alright, hopefully you can soldier just for a second while I get bloody Carmine. There he is. So, as I was saying, personally I would I would recommend getting the game. I mean, why not, right? For the amount of gameplay you get, I think it's pretty damn reasonable. Um so anyway, I'm going to probably leave it there. So hopefully you've all enjoyed the video. As I said, apologies for sucking, but I have not played Gears or in a bloody long time. But I'm also not that used, to be honest, to playing. Well, there's a lot of the guns laying... Poor Carmine! Poor Carmine! I'm also not really so much with the used to playing on consoles, to be totally honest. I'm more of a PC or... But I'll probably pick the game up on both systems anyway, to be totally honest with you, because it's fun. And that's the bottom line. So anyway, I'm going to throw this grenade. Watch things explode. And be very disappointed with the crappy aim. But for now, I'm going to get going. So, as I said, there will be full graphics comparisons. Stuart, who is considerably better than I, is putting up some videos. He's been streaming all day, so I think he might have even done most of the campaign by now. So... Um, he's going to be doing a lot of multiplayer games as well. I think he's getting his clan sorted out, so that should be kind of cool. There will be graphics comparisons on um, Dishonored as well over the next day or two. Hopefully that can be knocked out with Gears of War. And finally, we've also got an SSD that we're going to be doing a review on, which is from uh, Kingston. So hopefully that can be up this weekend as well. It's going to be kind of a manic weekend, to be totally honest mm -hmm. with you. But hopefully you'll stick around. Anyway. With that said, take care and have a great day. Bye for now.